morning, everybody. Hope everybody slept well. 7-Eleven, August 8th, 2023. So anyways, watching some YouTube this morning. What's new, right? Try to figure out what I missed through the weekend or whatever and what I didn't catch yesterday. I seen a post about when is Fox, they had a, uh, I was watching some BLM guy who just quit BLM, got smart, I guess. Wasn't really paying attention. I was too busy reading comments. One of them caught my attention. When is Fox going to cover the uh, incident, boating incident in Montgomery, Alabama? Naturally sparked my curiosity. Watched the video. I'm going to try to find it on YouTube and we'll watch it together. And I will tell you what I think about it. And then hopefully you'll leave my comments, my comments, your comments, and uh, tell me what you think. Anyways, on to it. Tonight, Montgomery, Alabama's mayor reacting to a fight between two groups on the city's riverfront, saying it never should have happened. Videos of the incident went viral. The person recording this one telling NBC News it started because a pontoon boat was blocking the spot where the river boat she was on needed to dock. She says the crewmen from her boat disembarked, and you see the fight starting right there people just running over and joining, then it just turned into this massive all-out brawl groups, punching, shoving, kicking. At one point, someone even ends up in the water. The mayor says they are now investigating the incident. Well, that's slightly disappointing, ain't it, people? The only guy that had any sense there was that feller that came in there to break up the fight. Now, what you didn't see in that video, and what I found in the video when I first Googled it, it was close, but it didn't show everything that I saw the first time, which would bring what I was wanting to bring to his attention in this video, the context. Right? Maybe that made any kind of sense. Don't know. But on to it. So, those guys were parked park whatever had their boat where it didn't belong so some other boat was supposed to park there i'm not sure if there was a sign there saying this spot is for this boat only or not might be something they need to look into first off secondly the guy had told them to move the boat they did not listen so the guy i'm not sure i guess he works there so he looked like he was kind of in a uniform right not sure what his job would what his job entails, but he untied their boat, sent it down the river, right? Let, let, let their boat go. Now, we can start with, dude should not have left his boat there, period. End of story, right? We can all agree to that. If it don't belong there, you shouldn't have had it there. If you untie my boat, <laughs> and I'm not going to leave my boat where it's not supposed to be, I just want to make that clear, but if you untie my boat, we're going to, we have to keep that in perspective. If you understand how much a pontoon boat costs, you're going to be in that water after it. Now, with my size to that guy's size, I'm going to have to pick something up. I need an equalizer. <laughs> with that being said, the man who started the fight came from downtown Julie Brown, ran up and hit that, hit that man, that, that big old boy, all right, and it barely even phased him. <laughs> How are you going to come through the run and start and hit somebody and not phase him? Now, first off, 
that would be the biggest reason. Like I just said, I wouldn't try to mess. I wouldn't try to mess with that guy, anyways. You know, he's like four times my size. <laughs> Again, well, I'd have to pick something up. <laughs> so obviously, this guy was sitting there thinking while these things were getting heated up. How am I going to hurt this man? He comes from downtown Julie Brown, barely phases him. Homeboy's ready. That was just awesome. Uh, that needs to be a, a meme. You guys are meme creators out there. Make that happen. Oh, it's go time something. I don't know. That was just... Yes, sir. Good. <laughs> That's just the biggest oh, hell no thing I think I've ever seen. But anyways. Things were going good. One-on-one -on -one fight. Then his buddy had to come in there and jump in. Shame on you. Now I get it. You're, you're looking. That's a big dude. Your boy's probably going to need some help. But your, your homeboy <laughs> shouldn't have went after Jolly Green Giant. This isn't no David and Goliath. All right? You was already in the wrong. <laughs> Just clear that up. And his other buddies jumped in. All of that is wrong, and because apparently all of you guys knew it was going to take that many for one man, you shouldn't have been messing with him to begin with. Now, apparently none of you were thinking how ugly that could have gotten real quick. Now, I'm not from Montgomery, Alabama, all right? And I don't, honestly don't know if I'm thinking about Birmingham, Alabama or Montgomery, Alabama. But either way, I'm from Tennessee. I don't know if I just said that or not. I'm not going to go into Montgomery, Alabama, and try to pick a fight with a black man. I just, I'm just not doing that. I value my life, first off. <laughs> I'm not trying to be out here fighting nobody. Let's clear that up. And I'm so glad that other man came and just started breaking it up. He started coming, I was like, oh, they all done now. Because he looked like he was in pretty good shape. <laughs> compared to some of those other guys on that boat but i don't know so good on that guy you need to be a you need to get a medal from from the mayor something or some kind of an award good samaritan award and then you know you whatever that lady was doing with that man he obviously got physical for a second and then i, I was watching he, he apologized he's like i'm sorry i'm sorry Hey, look, I get that, man. You just had five people on top of you, whatever it was, and now you got someone else on you. You don't know what's going on. Hey, look, that was a brief moment of still in defense mode. You know, just that survival mode. Hey, you know, so, I don't know what that woman was doing, checking on him or what. I'd have to go back and watch it a hundred times. But I wish I would have had the other video because get moving on to point. So, when they're having their competition, the onlookers on the boat where that video came from, you could catch some of it. The people on the boat started chanting, that song, Move, Bitch, Get Out the Way. All right. In my eyes, and I could be wrong, and they didn't show it on this one, but I'm sure if you search and get on there and look, because I'm having to look at my TV, I'm not going through all that. Just Google it. I did it, and it came up on, like, one of the first ones. And um, so they start chanting, the Move, Bitch, Get Out the Way, laughing, uh, telling for the guy that works for the, the boating company to knock the other guy out. All right, so there was instigation going on. And then when it seemed like the other guy was gonna get loud about it and everything, you hear someone, don't you touch him, don't you touch him. All right, all this other stuff going on. Chant, move, bitch, get out the way, all this. You hear the voices, you hear them saying it. All right, you just gotta find the video. I have no reason to lie to nobody. Anyways, then when they get in a fight, everybody on the boat, you hear someone continuously screaming and, you know, everybody's getting all hyped, even more hyped now. You know, they're just sitting there instigating the whole thing, calling the other dude a bitch. I mean, that's what you're doing. You know, and prison rules, playground rules, you don't go around calling another dude a bitch. If you do, you're asking for it. So you got instigation going on. You had the untying of the boat. Let's get back to the beginning. You had a dummy part where he shouldn't have been part to make things worse like he apparently works there surely they've got some way you get all the police 
Yeah, I know that one boat needed to be parked. Don't have time for all that. But you untie the man's boat. Is that part of your, what you can do? Is that in your job description, untying people's boats? Shame on you for not moving it out the way, making a big deal out of it. None of this, all of that obviously could have been avoided. The escalation wasn't needed. So back to my point, if that would have been same scenario, same everything, but the guy was a police officer, how would have the onlookers on the boat been? If everything was reversed, and I'm trying to keep race out of it, but we all know that's what the media is going to do. It was nothing but white people. How would have everybody been acting? And surely, surely, I'd like to think they'd still be up there chanting the song, you know, move, get out the way. Because, you know, you want to park and get off the boat, apparently. You've had enough. So the media's out there trying to race bait everything. So look at what happened. Dude was part where you shouldn't have been part. Probably shouldn't have untied dude's boat. Like I said, someone untied my boat, you're going in the water after it. If you happen to be three times my size, I'm going to pick something up. I don't have that many friends, so I'd probably be alone anyways. I have my family with me. So I probably wouldn't do anything, just definitely move the boat. Apologize and be on my way. Got to lead the way, set the example. Or someone just randomly untied my boat for no reason, yeah. But so anyways. And then, you, so, if he's coming from a running start... He was obviously been thinking about it longer than just a second because he thought, well, this is a pretty big dude, so I better get a run and start. Give him everything I got and everything he had. Didn't do nothing but piss that man off and make him take his hat off. And he almost, when he first, look, he, he turned it backwards first. That's over the top. All right, it is on. Then he's like, no, I'm, uh-uh, just... Your opportunity just went out the window for everything to be okay. Because now you're mine. And then, <laughs> that was just still so great. <laughs> but then, the uh, his friend's got to jump in. Why did you have to do that? Your friend parked the boat. Your friend went on him. Went on, sucker punched even. Because he was occupied talking to your other buddy. Still has little effect. Look. Complete ignorance across the board, especially for the boaters. Just shame. I want to shake the guy that was working in and the guy that <laughs> came up to break it up. Because, like I said, we all know that could have went ugly really bad. And the fact that that guy just uh, went there just to break break that up was huge. It speaks volumes. Of that individual. It speaks volumes of the individual that got hit. Not doing anything until that man got physical with him. You, that, the video I first found, you can tell him. He's explaining it to him. Just, man, look. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> but, uh, well, I mean, obviously, the, God help him. I hope they were drinking. Because if you're just walking around that ignorant and that dumb, Knowing you're in the wrong, something needs to be done so other people can get something done. And you're thinking the world's revolved around you that much. I mean, you are the problem. I don't care who you voted for. So, try to find that video so you can see everything leading up to it, especially the instigation. So, yeah, that's what I was talking about. So, I just wonder how everybody on the boat would have been if it would have been everybody was white. If it would have been a black officer telling them that, a white officer telling them that, if it would have been black people not moving the boat and it would have been a white man working. Because you know the media is going to put it all about race. When all this V is through one man went to assault another man and the friends jumped in until it got broken up by a passerby. Something like that. You know, the media is going to be... Here's these white supremacists. <laughs> but maybe they are. I don't know. I can't speak on them. I just know they are 
definitely not very smart individuals. Leave your comments. Tell me what you think. Pretty short video. Not going to take up any more of your time. Might find something else to pick apart. So, yeah, Fox. I would say, why aren't you covering it? Which <laughs> you should cover it. To remind people, don't park, park your boat where it ain't supposed to be. Park your boat where it ain't supposed to be. And a gentleman that's apparently uniform appears to be working there, asks you to move it because another boat has to get in there, do the right thing and move it. If you are working there, and that's the first time that's happened, well, now you know you should put a sign out there. This area is for that boat. If it's not the first time it's happened, you should have known better than already had a sign out there saying this area is for that boat. If you're going to be brave enough to sit there and think about getting into a fight with someone at least two times bigger than that man was, that you know you've got to get a running start. To try to make any kind of effect on that man and your friends are around or you're one of the friends and you're watching this happen let him learn his lesson because he's got a couple of lessons to be learned there one don't park the boat where it don't belong somebody that works at a place is trying to maintain everything running smooth smoothly and your stuff is in the way and they ask you to move it you move it Hang on, there was another one. I lost it. Hang on. Oh, yeah. And the other one, I forgot what I was talking about. Um, probably don't want to fight somebody. Like I said, at least twice your size. Unless you're some kind of MMA John Wick champion. All right? So that's four lessons. Four. That he needed to learn. With the temperature the way it is in our environment, both literally and figuratively, you a stupid, stupid monkey flipper, mother father, you a stupid mother father, let's go with that, to even want to get in an altercation with somebody a different race than you are. I didn't say don't talk to them, have fun, go have dinner, go watch a movie together. It's a confrontation. That's for any race, for any race. You're stupid. You're more ignorant than well, something. I don't know. That's just, you're asking for it. You're asking just for a whole lot of trouble. Like I said, I'm not from Montgomery, Alabama, and I'm trying to remember if I've got Montgomery or, or Birmingham right in my head. And I'm not saying people, obviously people in Montgomery got some sense. I mean, came up there to break everything up. But I'm pretty sure you don't want to be a white person in a black dominant area and try and get in a fight with a black person. Again, in the temperature of the environment we're in. I mean you're pretty you're pretty dumb. There's still a whole lot of ignorance out there. And you get into a fight because you parked your boat in the wrong spot and then refuse to move it is one hundred percent proof of it. So uh I guess you better choose what kind of friends you're going to be boating with. Ask them. Or you can get on the boat. Are you going to, if you park somewhere and <laughs> it don't belong, are you going to move it if somebody asks you to? Just ask them that. That's all you need to know. And if they're like, nah, then just be like, well, you know you're going to be on your own, right? <laughs> Let them know that. So you don't get involved in the ignorance. Get you a Uber boat. And you're right back to the other marina. Walk. <laughs> so, yeah. A lot of ignorance. Great job on the, especially the guy who broke it up because I was like, oh, it's about to be some trouble now. You guys are done. I kind of want to watch that like four or five more times just so I can see that guy come from, I don't know, how far away, get everything he's got 
and you just, you know, that guy goes back a little bit. I mean, you know, moving forward, sits an object that's sitting still. One or two things are going to happen, but it didn't phase him. He made him so mad he went over the top for a second, and he's like, "No, uh, uh." He's like, "I'm not going to be worried about the hat because this man's about to be hurt." I tried it. I asked him, "No." <laughs> oh my goodness, your friends are punks for jumping in, and again, you're just a. I want to cuss, but I try not to cuss on my videos, like I said in my other one. You're just a very dumb person trying to play David and Goliath in an unrighteous moment.